Have you ever run git pull and suddenly your history is full of weird merge commits? Or maybe you have heard people saying that you should always use git pull dash dash rebase instead? Today, I will explain the difference between the two with simple examples so you will know exactly when to use each. First, let's start with git pull. When you run git pull, git actually does two things. It fetches the latest changes from the remote branch and then merge them into your current branch. That means if your branch and the remote have both moved forward, git creates a merge commit to glue them together. This keeps the full history, but it can make your log messy with extra merge commits. Now let's look at git pull dash dash rebase. This one still fetches the latest changes, but instead of merging, git takes your local commits and replay them on top of the updated remote branch. The result is a linear history. No merge commit in the middle, just a straight line of commits that looks much cleaner. So what happens if you run git pull or git pull dash dash rebase and git screams at you with a merge conflict? Don't panic. Let's see how to handle conflicts in both cases, step by step. When you use plain git pull, git tries to merge the remote changes with your local ones. If both touch the same file, you will see a conflict message. Open the file and look for the conflict markers. Edit the file to keep what you want. Mark the conflict as resolved. That's it. Conflict resolved with a merge commit in history. Now let's see what happens with git pull dash dash rebase. When a conflict happens, git pause the rebase at your commit that doesn't apply cleanly. Here's what you do. Fix the conflict in the file, just like before. Mark the file as resolved. Instead of git commit, continue the rebase. If you get stuck, you can always cancel with git rebase dash dash abort. This way, git will keep replaying the rest of your commits until everything is applied cleanly. Summary, always use git pull dash dash rebase first. If it works, then all good. But if there is much conflict, fix it using interactive rebase. If it's too complex for you, abort the pull using dash dash abort and continue pull normally using git pull. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.